Hey everybody, welcome to 786 Garage Channel. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Today I'm going to be working on this 2011 Mazda 3. And what the issue is this time around is that uh, a couple of days ago I started to feel the vehicle was a little sluggish. And then literally like 24 hours later I got the check engine light on. And uh, obviously what I did was I connected in my OBD. And uh, this is the message uh, I'm getting. It's uh, basically code 209. It's an intake manifold runner control circuit. So if you... This is the part that we need to replace. Uh, right here I'm showing you the, the package it came with. I got this in Amazon. Uh, affiliated link will be in the description below. So that's the brand. That's the numbers there. If you're looking to purchase the same one. But like I said, the link will be in the description. So essentially, this is the part, basically, that we need to replace. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's got these four holes connectors here. That, uh, we have to be careful not to mix them up. I'll try to figure out how to label them before I install it to make sure that they all go in the right place. And it basically is just this bracket here with two solenoid, uh, solenoids. And uh, just plug and play right here, back here. The way this is secured in place is it's got four uh, bolts right here, one on each corner. So let's jump in the front, I'll open up the hood, show you where it's located, and uh, we'll begin the process of replacing this. All right, so I've opened the hood, and uh, where this thing usually resides is this right here. So to get started is we're gonna have to remove this uh, cover here, this beauty cover as they call it just to gain some access to the location. The other thing we gotta do is uh, remove some of these hoses here just to get them out of the way. Just unclip them. so we can gain some access and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this box also to cover actually so essentially this is where it resides right here you can see it's the same thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the connectors that's all as far as plugs, what I'm gonna do now is, these are the four hoses here on this side that I was referring to earlier, that I must remember to put them back in. So now I'm just gonna remove the bolts. All four bolts are out. Now we're just gonna pull this out. I'm just gonna put it back in place there and stop putting the bolts on. But the uh, Connectors back in. Make sure they're seated well. Really, that's all there is to it. I'm just gonna now put these hoses back into these clips here, the way they were, just so they could rest there. This goes here. Put this back in to where it was. There you go. And these other clips here. And there was another one right back here. Just so they stay in place. Actually, I'm going to put it on top. 
All right, just restarted the car, check engine light is gone. Let's see if it comes back. Like I said previously, when I kept erasing them before I switched the manifold, uh, it kept coming back within five seconds. Yeah, it's not back. Turn the car off one more time, turn it back on. Yeah, no check engine light on. I think we're good to go. I hope you found it helpful. I would really appreciate it if you guys give it a thumbs up. If you like the video, please consider subscribing, share the video, all the other good stuff that YouTube offers. Uh, again, have a great day. Thank you for watching.